Hi there, and welcome to this course, SharePoint for Developers, Building SharePoint Hosted Add-ins. And I am your host, Oleg Rumansev. I am a full-time SharePoint architect with over 9 years of experience, hold several Microsoft certificates such as Microsoft Certified Software Developer, Professional Developer and Technology Specialist most of them in the SharePoint area. I've done most of the possible development and administration work for SharePoint platforms, starting from SharePoint version 2007 and up to most recent one, SharePoint version 2016, as well as dabbling with SharePoint Online, of course. The course you are about to view focuses solely on the client-side development which is the recommended approach from Microsoft. And really, the client-side development model has expanded quite vastly over the past several iterations of SharePoint platform. And Microsoft has stated explicitly that it views the SharePoint Online and thus client-side development model as their priority. In recent years, we have seen a shift in SharePoint development from server-side to client-side, due to many of the clients moving to SharePoint Online and the Microsoft aggressive push for this platform. Microsoft gives priority to SharePoint Online platform as a service over the SharePoint on-premises. Of course, don't get me wrong, both are viable and valid options, and SharePoint 2016 gets the same kind of treatment as SharePoint Online, only a bit later. Microsoft works closely with community to develop more robust and client-side development frameworks and tools. There is a PNP, Patterns and Practices initiative, guided by guys and Microsoft, and co-developed by many of the guys in SharePoint community. And really, it makes sense to invest in client-side development learning, given that Microsoft sees it as the preferred development method. The course is structured in a way that it provides theoretical knowledge first, and then, over a few videos, we start to introduce complementary hands-on video demonstrations with each topic covered. The course contains five sections. First one, SharePoint Development Paths, will provide you a brief overview of SharePoint development models in general and retrospectively. In the section two, which is called Preparing Your Environment, we will learn how to set up our development environments for coding both against the cloud model and on-premises, as well as how to create the tenant in SharePoint Online and virtual machines in our on-premises environments. In section 3, we will learn how to apply the most basic JavaScript customizations out of the box, without actually deploying any solution packages. In section 4, we'll start deploying solution packages which will alter the way SharePoint looks. Basically, we will be covering all the ways we can introduce custom branding to the SharePoint. In section 5, we'll create a sample add-in which will create several fields, lists and content types as well as provide custom JavaScript functionality to the SharePoint host web. We will finish section 5 with introducing the TypeScript support for our add-in solution. It is advisable that you familiarize yourself with SharePoint platform capabilities before watching this video. Also, a basic understanding or awareness of SharePoint server-side object model fundamentals is an advantage. And lastly, basic familiarity with JavaScript language is desired. Well, that's it, and I hope you have a good time watching this video 
and you learn some things and apply them in your future development. Thank you.